All right, we're going to configure our Blue Yeti to work with Reaper. I've got a project open here. You can see the reflection of uh, my audio settings. Uh, I'm going to go over to the Options menu and Preferences. And within there, on the left-hand side, uh, we're going to look under the Audio tab and then on the Device. And under Device Settings, you'll notice that our audio system set for the ASIO driver, under our drivers, you will not see the Blue Yeti listed anywhere. In order to get the Blue Yeti to appear there, what we need to do is under Audio System, we need to configure that, in this case, for WDM Kernel Streaming. And then from there, you can see that our Blue Yeti is listed. I've got a few other devices there, but we're going to select the Blue Yeti for our input and our output device. And then we also need to make sure that we're using a sample rate format of 16-bit and a sample rate of 44100. And that is uh, the highest setting that the Blue Yeti allows. And uh, that's important to make sure that you're not overriding that. You'll get better quality that way. And then we're just going to double check in our project settings that we've got those same configuration set up. 16-bit on the wave bit depth. And then under our project settings tab, uh, 44, 1 uh, kilohertz on the sample rate. We just don't want to go higher than that. Lower is fine if you need that, but uh, that's a good setting to work with. And then I'm going to go ahead and just insert a, uh, a media file here so you can see. Uh, I don't have the output of the Blue Yeti configured, so you can't hear this, but you can see that uh, we've got audio playing uh, both actually in and out from uh, the Blue Yeti microphone. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the screen just for sake of remembering. Here's our configuration WDM kernel streaming uh, with the Blue Yeti.